affect our hearts. And we look, it is about time we check them. Whether or not we looked at how we, it is about time we checked our hearts. And we looked at how we treat one another. Whether or not we are really preparing for the day we will meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Death has overtaken so many people. It has overtaken the young and the old. It knows no age and it does not come with notice. It is not a rental position which tells you, you have one month's notice. No, it comes just like that. <laughs> when the prescribed time of Allah comes, it will not be delayed. So we need to know, prepare for that by at least trying to taste the sweetness of Iman. Believe me, if you have tasted a little bit of the sweetness of Iman in this world, by the will of Allah, you are heading in the right direction and you will be able to achieve a lot when it comes to the Akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. Beloved brothers and sisters, it is important that we remain conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We remain fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way that will help us prepare for the day we die, the day that we are going to leave this world, the day that we are going to join the other millions and billions who have already died, the day we are going to be meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is important we realize and understand that that is the main aim of a believer, to prepare for the day he or she will be meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqu Allah, wal tanzur nafsum ma qaddamat li ghad, wa attaqu Allah, inna Allah khabirun bima ta'maloon. O you who believe, be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each one of you, look into what you have prepared for tomorrow. What have you prepared for presentation tomorrow? What are your deeds that are going to be sealed for you and handed over as your own deeds tomorrow? And fear Allah, He knows what you do. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. So don't lose focus upon that. No matter how enticing the world is around you, never lose focus upon the fact that Allah can take you at any moment, at any time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. There will come a day when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that every single one of you shall be speaking to Allah without an intermediary in between. No need for translations, no need for explanations. Allah will speak to you and I, and we will be answering him directly for our deeds. We need to prepare for that day. We do not want to be embarrassed on that day. How to prepare? There are several ways. We speak about them regularly. It is important for us not to be lazy when it comes to increasing the knowledge we have of Allah and His Rasul, of the deen of this particular religion, and the same time of what is it that will benefit us when we leave this beautiful world for something even more beautiful, and that is the life after death. Brothers and sisters, an intelligent person is he who realizes who he is and prepares for that which is to come, prepares for after death. And a fool is he who follows his whims and fancies and then has hope in the mercy of Allah, yet he did not do anything that would have beckoned or called for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can I call for the mercy of Allah? I can call for it by engaging in repentance, by turning back, and this is something so beautiful because it gives us hope as Muslimin. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tell my worshippers, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whomsoever from amongst them has transgressed against themselves, never to lose hope from my mercy. For indeed Allah forgives all sins. He is most forgiving, most merciful. And tell them to turn to me before it is too late. And the day comes to them after which they shall regret. These are verses of the Quran. Subhanallah. Qul ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu min rahmatillah inna Allah yaghfiru adh-dhunuba jami'a innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim Allahu Akbar. What beautiful verses. May the Almighty grant us goodness. We have hope, we have reason to smile because we are still breathing and we still have a lot of opportunity, but we don't know when that opportunity will be snatched. This opportunity is an opportunity to turn to Allah and ask Him to forgive us. 
We promise Allah we change our ways and habits. We ask Allah for forgiveness. We ask Allah to open our doors and grant us goodness. Many others have had the goodness they were in taken away. That is also a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May the Almighty grant us goodness. Sallu wa sallimu ya